Hello everyone and welcome to The Frame. Though we hardly notice them today, the building of canals was one of the most important advancements in human history. By developing techniques to channel water from one place to another, we were suddenly able to irrigate crops in remote inland farms, provide drinking water to remote areas, and facilitate shorter maritime transport routes. And while constructing these canals took decades in the past, nowadays we have special multi-million dollar machines that can do the job much faster. From the digging itself to the paving, sealing, and even restoration, what once required years of hard manual work can now be done in mere weeks. Known as a canal paver or lining machine, this unique heavy equipment does the work of dozens of builders in mere minutes. As the concrete is poured, large slanted rollers apply pressure to the canal wall, gently sliding down to the floor. This helps push out bubbles, gaps and irregularities to ensure a more solid final result. The V-shaped or angled design of these machines makes them perfect for smoothing out walls to error-free standards with minimal effort. They're installed upon adjustable tracks along the edges of the canal while concrete is mixed poured and smoothed on a continual basis with little human involvement. There are many variations of these canal making machines, including those that are designed to handle heavy duty asphalt as well as pure cement. Here you can see one of the largest and oldest canals in Germany, the Alzkanal, getting a facelift with the use of the horizontal finisher. First, the water is diverted into a temporary canal or storage pond. After that, specialized machines move over the surface to remove mildew and growth, simultaneously smoothing out the surface. Next, asphalt is applied and smoothed using a constant pour technique that's virtually identical to what's used with cement. This creates a solid, fast sealing barrier that will be resistant to future algal growth and ensure the purity of the water. In recent years, canal machinery has seen a huge jump in both quality and capability. Even rural, less developed countries now have access to robust machines that can make a variety of canal types and sizes whilst saving a fortune on labor and energy. This is clearly a massive improvement over traditional methods that used backhoes and other simple earth movers in order to form canal shapes that can now be done in a fraction of the time. Researchers are always figuring out better, faster, and cheaper ways to accomplish any task, including challenging undertakings like building massive canals. This has led to the development of what's known as concrete canvas. Rather than using traditional concrete pouring and smoothing techniques, this solution involves laying out sheets of specialized material that can be stored and transported in rolls. Once in place, workers need only apply water to the canvas in order to cause it to harden into a solid concrete block within 24 hours. Though it was invented several decades ago, this instant hardening concrete impregnated fabric has only recently come into major worldwide use with several variations. Some of the variations come as thinner, flexible geotextile inseminated with the same dry concrete powder and a plastic backing on one side. 
This ingenious innovation is rapidly replacing conventional concrete, particularly in the mining sector, the civil infrastructure sector, and the petrochemical sector. While some people might consider canals and other inland waterways to be old news, they've actually always been very important to how we move cargo from place to place. In fact, many canals all over the world are currently undergoing major expansions in an effort to maximize inshore and global shipping potential as the sizes of modern ships continually outgrow the old canals. Such canal expansion projects are often multi-billion dollar endeavors that utilize all manner of techniques and gigantic million dollar machines in addition to cutting edge technology. Recently, the Panama Canal finished construction on a new set of locks. This massive project began all the way back in 2007. It included both the widening and deepening of existing channels on both the Atlantic and Pacific sides of the canal, as well as the construction of a third lane and set of locks. The expansion of the 48-mile-long canal took about nine years and cost a whopping $5.2 billion. When the newly constructed locks and canals were initially flooded, the Panamanian government made a massive showing of the undertaking. And though water flowed into the new construction at thousands of gallons per minute, it still took five full days for them to reach optimum levels. While they may not receive the media attention of their Panamanian counterpart, canal reconstruction and recommissioning projects are always happening throughout Europe. After all, many of these canals were initially constructed in the past centuries. In order to preserve these vital waterways, thousands of miles of concrete will need to be refurbished and reinforced. Of course, this requires the draining of the canal, which itself can be an uphill task. Once the water has been diverted, crews and machinery can then enter the dry canal, cleaning and reinforcing it where needed. With new and ever-developing technology, these vital pieces of infrastructure will hopefully remain as eye-catching monuments reserved for future generations. That's the end of today's feature on The Frame. Subscribe to the channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time!